the forehead of your robot. You know about the Roblox spam bots, right? I mean, you probably do, if you've been playing for more than 15 minutes at least. If you don't know what they are, they usually advertise some free Robux website that's total BS. Seriously, don't go to these websites. Anyway, spam bots are everywhere, from badges, to groups, to even games. There's so many spam bots out there. For one genuine human player, there's like 40 spam bot throwaway accounts. But maybe not all of these spam bots are the same. Like the saying goes, for every herd of sheep, there's always one with a different color of wool. I was playing Roblox High School, when a spam bot joined the game. It had the same qualities every spam bot usually has. The random username, the green skin, the rainbow spiral t-shirt, everything. But he didn't speak a single word. None. Nada. Nothing. And he stayed there longer than usual as well, to add on to that. At first, I thought it was just an error with the system the person behind this spam bot epidemic made, and moved on with my Roblox high school day. But, then, the spam bot started moving around. It was following my friend, Irene. Irene, obviously weirded out by this, said, What do you want? The spam bot said, but what it said was probably keyboard gibberish. What the heck? If this is a glitch, it's a pretty big one. I later recognized it. It was base 64. I put it in a base 64 decoder, and it translated to, Hello? Are you there? Can you hear me? Can you help us? Okay. What the actual heck is going on? This has to be some troll account, that was made to trick people into thinking it was a buggy spam bot, right? Right? Run. Oh, so run. The screen started to have a red tint. Other Robloxians were dying. They didn't make that oof sound either, they didn't made a sound at all. They never respond either. The ground was rumbling, and the buildings were being destroyed. Wow, this guy is one clever exploiter. Bah, just kidding. The spam bot then said something, which was base 64 again. And this time, it meant. Oh no. Hurry. He's coming. Run. Hide. I left the server then and there, but Irene wasn't as quick. Here's what she told me. A giant demon had come to the school, and mercilessly killed everyone who had happened to survive. Every Roblox Roblox-ian he killed would never respawn in the game, never be able to join any Roblox game again after that, and would get their account terminated three hours later. Irene was one of the demon's victims. Irene has been playing since 2009, and has collected a ton of limiteds, and bought a lot of Robux over that time. And she hated to see all of that to go waste. After that situation, I just had to look up more info about this. Apparently, it has happened to other people in other online games, such as Vantage, spelled with an F, before that shut down. My account still exists, obviously, although I don't know if this entity is nothing more than a myth, and Irene is lying to me by spreading it to me or not, though she's my best friend, and I know she would never do that. One creepy thing to note is that the same spam bot from before, is now following my Roblox account. This mysterious entity has hopped from game to game, and all of the same things had happened to players of those virtual worlds. Irene no longer plays Roblox, and has migrated to Animal Jam, however she is afraid that the same thing will happen there, and the event will occur all over again.